Hey, welcome back to the Restorationers. I appreciate it very much. I was really shocked how many people actually watched the video, uh, more than just my wife and a few friends. So thank you very much. And uh, please, please subscribe. I've got a few and I appreciate that very much. Um, we're going to try to keep this rolling. Um, I'm having a lot of fun with it. Uh, it's keeping me motivated to stay on, stay on my project. So I appreciate it very much, very much. Um, and please feel free to comment if you have any suggestions for things that I I should be doing or need to be doing as long as it's positive. Uh, I'll take a look and I appreciate the, uh, the input very, very much. So let's take a look at what I've got, got going on. So, so if you recall the last time when we were looking at the transmission, I said, oh, it looked pretty clean. Well, I had also flushed it out with some um, cleaner like paint thinner or maybe a little acetone. But when I went to drain it all out, you won't believe how much metal came out on the uh, out of the drain I and mean, look at all that so I'm gonna have to take another another look look deep in there in fact if you want to join me my back I don't think I torqued these down maybe I did take this all off and uh, take another look down there make sure the gears look okay besides it's kind of neat to see the inside of the transmission so uh, let me unscrew these and I'll get right back to you all right, ready to open her up. I just got all the, the bolts out, and yes, I used a crescent wrench. Uh, one of my favorite mechanics I used to work with a little bit, Butch would always yell at me for using a crescent wrench because he said those were for, for plumbing, and you should always use the right tools. So anyway, sorry, Butch. So I didn't think it looked too bad, but uh, maybe we need to look in there a little deeper. Maybe I can... Get a brush or something in there and see how bad it is. I mean, it's a little bit there. Yeah, and you can see where it's just the edge of this, these teeth here. Wow, look at that. I'll round it off all the way around and here really good. So I guess I should have taken a closer look. But you know how it goes, maybe I'm in denial. But I'll send some of these uh, pictures to some uh, other people and see if we can get away with just leaving it the way it is because I do not think I can afford to have new ones, new ones cut. But man, that is really chewed up there. Well, anyway, um, tell me what you think. Maybe we can get away with it if I'm a little more gentle than the, than the last handful of people kind of crash boxed this thing. Uh, just slammed it into the gears but uh, yeah that's a lot that's a lot of stuff coming out of there so we'll address that but uh, there you go all those gears amazing amazing what they could do in the the turn of the century through the 20s I think so anyway the other thing that I've been working on is I, I punched the push the starter in and it had been rebuilt but it was a really really tight fit so I was using part of a, a soft mallet to kind of push it in and then I notice it's got a little little grind to it. I hope that's normal. So I'm going to probably put some power to it and make sure it's okay first. It's interesting because it's really just a motor with a gear. And then the rest of the starting mechanism is separate, like a, the Bendix. So this is what grabs onto the flywheel to, to start the motor. So I just found the nuts and bolts for that. i got to clean those up. Uh, that got primered. Uh, you're not really going to see it, but I put some primer on it anyway. And I found it interesting. It's got a little little port there to put oil, but I don't think it was full of oil when I when I checked it or when I pulled it apart. So maybe that's just uh, inspection or whatever. And I also pulled out the distributor, which I had rebuilt uh, last year, and I just think it's cool because it's it's really tall. Um, so that it clears the, the cylinders. And we're going to try to put a cylinder on this weekend, but um, we'll see how the weather is. And then I, I know I had also mentioned the headlights. So here's one of them. I pulled it out for you. And uh, it just sits on top of these little this little forks and has a set screw. I might make a, a bushing or some kind of shim so they're a little, little firmer on there than just a set screw. And then maybe I can make sure they're they're both exactly straight. Um, I gotta figure out how to pull the dents out 
And uh, I know this stuff isn't terribly thick, but I, I've seen people that know what they're doing pull that out. So we'll see if we can we can figure that out. I thought it was interesting that the glass was clear. Uh, I'd prefer a, a different lens, but we'll see. So that's kind of where I'm at. Um, I also pulled out the intake manifold uh, since I've showed that last time. You can see the size. <clears throat> And then I also found um, a gentleman sent me um, in California, uh, kind of a friend of a friend, had another carburetor for my truck. And the problem I had was the, uh, the accelerator pump, uh, getting the accelerator pump piece out of here. It was seized really bad on my other one. And this one, I just managed to get it out. Uh, and I don't think I did hardly any damage. I'd been soaking and heating and doing all that stuff you're supposed to do. You can see the, the green in there from where it was oxidizing, but I found these little picks. And so I was able to take this pick and kind of work it uh, into the, the hole of the accelerator pump and managed to get a, a, a tool on it and pull it, pull it out. And so I'm excited about that. Uh, the rest of the carburetor looks pretty, pretty good. We'll pull it apart here. I might make a episode on pulling that apart. Um, so that's about about it. Like I said, we're gonna try to try to drop a jug uh, on there today. I'd like to start buttoning it up so I don't get any more junk in there. And also to let you know, we've got I've got another project coming in. I'm gonna try to help out a a friend, a brother-in-law of one of my good friends, the guy who built this barn, uh, Dave. So we've got an exciting new truck uh, coming into the the shop here. I don't know very much about them, but uh, you know what, I'm gonna leave that as a surprise. You should definitely check in. Uh, hopefully we'll go at least take some pictures tomorrow. If so, I'll put it on another, another thing. And um, a friend of mine sent me some pictures from Amarillo, Texas of this truck in a parade. I put it on the beginning of the last video, but I'll drop another one in here just because I think it's amazing. I'm really, really sure it's, it's this truck because of the size of the, the siren. It had a, a really, really big siren on the, on the left front fender. So I'll uh, try to drop both those photos in so you can take a look. And uh, I appreciate you watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And uh, I'll see you next time on the Restoration Urge.